Hey everyone, uh, this is Michael C. Fishbach, Medicare Savings, and this is a video to help the Medicare beneficiaries out there that are looking into their drug coverages on Medicare.gov. So uh, I am helping a uh, beneficiary that was in a guaranteed issued situation and she moved from up north down to beautiful Charleston, South Carolina, and she had the right and the option to transition back to original Medicare with a supplement and a standalone Part D drug plan. But she was on this plan right here. And so I'm going to show you uh, not only um, how to uh, do this for yourself, but also make sure that you ask uh, the proper questions and you have to do some due diligence with the Part D, Part D drug plan companies when you're transitioning from uh, one Medicare plan, a health plan, a Medicare Advantage plan, back to original Medicare because you don't want to have sticker shock when you transition back into a standalone Part D drug plan. And those are like your pharmacy cards. Um, so they're a separate card. It's not like a Medicare Advantage plan where uh, you can use the card at the health, uh, at the doctor's office, the hospital, and you can use it at the pharmacy. So when you're on original Medicare, you have typically three cards, the red, white, and blue Medicare card, the Medicare supplement card, Medicare Medicare supplement insurance card, uh, the letter plan that's on there, and then your separate standalone Part D drug plan. And so if you have a MyMedicare.gov account, I encourage you to create one because you can get your claims on there within 24 hours. You can literally edit your own drug list or have somebody that's advocating for you and helping you on your Medicare journey uh, to uh, make sure that you can analyze your uh, prescription drug cost each and every year. Uh, it's uh, There's some stat out there that 93% of Medicare beneficiaries do not shop their party drug coverage at the end of the year. They just let it ride. There's another stat out there that 50% of Medicare beneficiaries don't shop their Medicare coverages. So there's a lot of Medicare savings out there for you. You just have to do a little bit of due diligence or have a service that actually does um, what uh, Medicare should be doing for you. But, you know, obviously that's where we step in. A service like ours uh, helps folks with traditional Medicare and helps to analyze their party drug coverage with uh, their Medigap coverage as well. So let's get into it. Um, this person was on this particular plan uh, from up north. They got a coverage letter uh, saying their coverage was uh, no longer uh, going was no longer going to be available, so they are having a loss of coverage due to them moving out of that area, the service area. And so um, it was a zero premium plan, and looks like uh, looks like they had some big high max out of pockets. And so I'm not going to go over the different coverages because that's against the law, but I am going to tell you uh, exactly that she wasn't paying very much at all for. Uh, their prescription drugs because she was getting the mail order. So if you look right here, uh, make sure to look at the mail order pharmacy and click that when you're uh, analyzing your drug plan uh, at the end of the year or whether you're brand new to Medicare or whether you moved out of your service area, analyze your drug, uh, analyze your, uh, the, the drug plans and click on uh, mail order pharmacy because as you can see here you can see it's zero across the board uh, all the way down this this uh, column but then uh, at some uh, areas here you can see some costs uh, on some on some particular medications uh, when it's not mail order look at this one this one's thir this one's uh, the rest of these are if they're retail it's thirty dollars per year but then if it's mail order, it's look, it's zero. So make sure you click on that. All right. So now let's go to Cigna. Uh, I uh, spoke with a nice young lady at Cigna who was uh, excited that it was Friday, but she wanted to make sure uh, that we had the information about uh, the Cigna uh, drug plan that was out there. And this is very simple. Like I'm not, I'm not on a specific Medicare uh gov account because i don't have one you can literally help somebody and you're allowed to help somebody that's on medicare look into their drug coverage because there's 60 million folks that need to be helped 
And so that's uh, too big of a task for the government to do, for Medicare to do, for any individual state uh, insurance program or consumer advocacy. So please, if you have somebody in your family or you have somebody that um, is a Medicare beneficiary, their drug plan prices have gone up. Uh, sometimes they go up, uh, you know, from, you know, a few dollars, like $10, $15, all the way up to $70. So please uh, help them or uh, send this video to them so that way they can shop their uh, Part D drug plan uh, effectively. So after you get choose the company on the rating and you choose the company based off uh, your uh, drug list, and it analyzes all of this for you on Medicare.gov. So if you're able to put in your drugs and let it uh, populate uh, what type of medication dosages and all that, you just put that in all at once at one time, then click on the pharmacies that are near you and all, and choose mail order because more and more we're seeing uh, drug plans out there with uh, zero, um, yeah, zero out of pocket for uh, tier one, tier two, and then very low out of pocket for a tier three medication like this. So as you can see, if you look at the annual yearly drug cost, and if you're looking at these uh, uh, retail uh, pharmacies, this one happens to be $70.75. This one's out of network, it's $5,870. That is terrible. So you definitely wanna make sure that you uh, don't go to a pharmacy that doesn't take your coverage. Uh, this one's $70.75. This one's uh, $326. So you can see the big disparity in just one drug plan um, uh, or in just one retail company and then look at this, the mail order is $8.10. We all know that everybody's uh, going online and getting uh, things shipped to them like through Amazon. And it looks as if that's the same route that the um, drug companies are going to is going through mail order more and more and uh, reducing the cost that way. Okay, so listen in about the uh, drug plan from Cigna. And I, call, I called into their number up here uh, after you analyze it on medicare.gov. We'll get somebody to help you analyze it. Just call one of these member numbers or non-member numbers. Click on their website and uh, look. You can uh, look at their different plans uh, online with them. So let's go. Let's listen in. And we're talking specifically about the uh, Part D drug uh, plan deductible uh, because when she was on the this plan, Medicare Advantage plan up up north then she was she had only a hundred dollar drug deductible which you know that, that's manageable but when she's going from a hundred dollar drug deductible to a 445 dollar drug deductible you have some questions so listen in on some of the uh information that this sweet uh person from Cigna was helping us out with yeah what pharmacy does she use yeah, she uses the local one. I believe it's CVS as currently. She just moved okay. here. CVS and okay. other stuff. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. I think she just likes the CVS one. So yeah, that they're prefer they're a preferred vendor, right? Um. So they're actually not a preferred vendor. Walgreens would be a preferred one. Yeah, Walgreens is just a, literally close to her as well. So Walgreens would be the preferred one. Okay. Greens, Walmart. Um, okay. So. I don't know if you guys have Kroger. No, no, we don't have Kroger here. That's a that's in uh, we're in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. So now. Okay, gotcha. So it's really important to pay attention to which retail pharmacy because that affects your cost greatly. As you can see, there is a big fat X on this uh, Publix pharmacy, which means you're going to get a big fat. You know, high out of pocket if you even try to get your uh, prescriptions at the uh, at a pharmacy that's out of network. So, yes, you have networks of doctors and hospitals. You have networks for your uh, pharmacy as well for your prescription drug coverage. Yeah, Kroger has so many different offshoots. I can't keep track. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what it is? She's wants she, on her plan that she's looking at with you guys. Is she's looking at the uh, the mail order. 
That's what she. Oh, yeah. Sure yeah. So the mail. Yeah, the mail order is actually z. It's like zero. It's eight dollars. So the mail order, every everything is zero for her. And but only the only thing is the. Uh, Let oh, me go back here. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, okay. Okay. So if she were to go with the Risperdone mm -hmm. mail order, that would be zero dollars. Yeah. Um, but let me pull up with the one that she's on right now. Let me pull mm -hmm. up what that cost is. So we spoke about um, alternatives uh, for your for her tier three medication, and this is a common thing that many beneficiaries do with their doctor uh, is that you bring your drug list uh, from uh, the from the actual uh, party plan company and you can easily look it up on google you just look up you know the uh, party drug plan company uh, and put part d put formulary or drug list put the year that you're uh, looking at the uh, party drug plans and then you just click on it. And then if you have a printer, great. But if you can download it or uh, send it via email or something to where you can uh, show it to your doctor, which a lot of people just uh, print it out, then they can see the actual list and the formulary from tier one to tier two for each state. It's that specific. Uh, when you're talking about networks, when you're talking about your prescription drug plan. So that way um, your doctor knows exactly uh, where, which uh, alternatives are available to you uh, in your area and uh, the drugs that are available uh, on the, the alternatives. And again, the reason why you would do this is because you have a higher tier medication, tier three, tier four, tier five, and you're wanting to obviously uh, not have that burden of being in the donut hole by paying those high drug costs and also having to pay the 445 dollar uh, uh, part d drug deductible so all this is online you know this is all public you know uh, obviously you can do it yourself but if you have uh, uh, you're uh, someone who's worth their salt uh, that is advocating for you on your medicare journey and they and they uh, have you have coverage with them. Ask them if they're able to do you know analyzation or help you out. And then also too, one eight hundred Medicare is available 24/7, 365 days out of the year, and you pay the right to be able to use that hotline, that service. So uh, you don't always get a seasoned um, uh, Medicare agent on the phone each time but be patient uh, if you know the process say agent get to a live medicare agent have your prescriptions ready have your dosages have your um your, your um, refill number ready and just give them that information they'll help you do it over the phone and enroll you over the phone so uh, we we realize that you know sometimes this is not the most favorite thing to do but it is your hard-earned dollars going out the door and you want to find a solution for yourself especially if your drug coverage uh is not um covering your you know your tier three tier four tier five medications now again all this this is is dependent upon what your doctor says is deemed medically necessary for you i'm not a doctor i just want to help people uh, on their medicare journey and if that's uh, showing you uh, the information and showing you how to call uh, Medicare or how to speak with, uh, you know, the drug companies and having a little bit more, um, you know, knowledge and confidence to speak to them, then uh, I've done my job. So let's listen into the rest of the conversation about the, this particular Cigna drug plan. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that one is still... Yeah, I see it. <laughs> That one's actually eight dollars and ten cents. Yeah, I know. Order for ninety days. But but it but it triggers the uh, deductible, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so but the deductible doesn't apply to any of the other ones, so it won't affect any of the other ones. Right, but she'd still have to pay the four hundred and forty-five 
uh, yeah, so before she gets there. She oh. would just she would yep. just pay the eight dollars and ten cents until she reaches reaches the four forty five. All right, say that again. So so basically, she so, she plays that until okay. And yeah, so the eight dollars and ten cents is the full cost of the medication with Express Scripts. Okay. So, if she was to reach the deductible, the price yeah. would go down from eight dollars and ten cents. Okay, so she she signs up with your plan. She goes the mail order route, and you're saying she doesn't. She pays eight dollars and ten cents until she hits the deductible. Until she finishes the deductible, and then I'm showing it goes down to a dollar forty cents. Oh, wow. Okay, she can do that. All right, so she doesn't have to pay a lump sum of $145 no, sir. when doing the mail order. Nope. Uh, All right. She wasn't doing the mail order. Mm -hmm. even if, like, we don't have them pay a lump sum unless if it's like something like Burrito Elipta or Eliquis or like a very high costing medication, mm -hmm. then that's when the lump sum comes into play. But okay. when it's something like this, where it's yeah. the whole cost of it is eight dollars and ten cents, yeah, she just pays the eight dollars and ten cents. Okay, so she doesn't pay the four four the four forty five for the mail order at all until she, until no, we actually she, going. Okay, good. I just want to be perfectly clear. I understand. So. I was doing this on purpose to slow the conversation down as well as uh, make sure that it was completely clear that you could see that the light bulb was right then and there for this mail order because I've had beneficiaries in the past. Um, they were prescribed a medication uh, from their uh, primary care physician or specialist or whatever. They didn't look into the actual medication until they um, got to the pharmacy. And then they had a sticker shock because they had to shell out $225 of the, uh, the uh, deductible because it happened to be a higher tier medication and they weren't ready to pay for that. And so if you're willing to uh, you know, call the companies directly which is a very simple, easy thing to do. They're really nice people. They want to help you uh, with your drug plan. They want to help you uh, with uh, alternatives. They want to be able to service you because you have a, um, you know, a plan with them, a policy with them. So anyhow, uh, just for y'all's info here, the $445 deductible, that means, you know, $8.10, you know, she would have to pay that. 54 times uh, and before her medication goes down. And again, these are one year long contracts, but guess what? She only pays the $8.10. So typically when you hear tier three, tier four, tier five medications, call the company directly, get a straightforward answer from them. And that way, you know, okay, I don't have a surprise coming or I do have a surprise coming with my medications. So let's listen to the rest. She was super nice. And what you're saying, but I wanted it to be crystal clear so I can uh, translate it to her because she's literally, this is this is the one she's wanting. So, okay, perfect. Yeah. So she pays the eight dollars and ten cents until she reaches four forty five, uh -huh. and then it would go to a dollar forty six. Okay, gotcha. I am going to tell her that, and um, we're going to go forward with things because this is literally the only thing. Uh, hindering her from getting on that plane. I really appreciate your help. And um, yeah, uh, you have a few minutes until um, the end of Friday, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> you said yes. Yes, sir. All right. She was super excited that it was Friday. But uh, I hope you all learned a little bit that it doesn't take much to uh, get help on your Medicare journey. You can get help on demand. You don't always have to rely on just one person throughout your Medicare journey. Um, if uh, you're a client of ours, we try to do as much as we can for you, uh, whether we're trying to transition you into Medicare or whether we're staying accountable to those folks on Medicare because 
they see their rates increase and we have a free service that's risk-free to see if they can reduce their rate uh, if they can qualify for Medicare supplement rate reductions. But that's something that we help out with um, on the healthcare side, but on the, on the party drug plan side, it's a whole different ball game. Um, there's a lot more details and information that you, the Medicare beneficiary, know more about your uh, drugs and your medications um, that sometimes the, uh, a Medicare uh, insurance agent doesn't quite have the straightforward answer for it. But if you call the company directly, it, it has the plan that you want or uh, you're already on the plan, you know, speak with them. See if you can get some uh, of your Medicare savings that way through your prescription drug recoveries. Because we all know that um, the, the more medications that you're on, the higher the tiers. That's when you start having a big, big burden on your back when you're um, when you're living off a fixed income and, um, you know, having health that's not so not as great as it, was, as it once used to be. But anyhow, thanks so much for watching. If this video has helped you, um, please share it. I'm trying to help more folks uh, throughout the uh, Medicare open enrollment the annual election period season. And it starts October 15th through December 7th. But we're here for the original Medicare beneficiaries 12 months out of the year because we help them shop uh, and lower down their Medicare supplement plan premiums that go up over time. So if you have watched some of the other videos about uh, Medicare supplement companies and you want more information or just want help, please don't hesitate to call us at Medicare Savings and go to medicaresavings.us. Take care, guys. God bless. Thanks for watching.